Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Becky and on my channel you can find a ton of motherhood content like today's video which is going to be what's in my diaper bag for a newborn. I do have three other babies. I have two girls who are aged four and two and I also have a stepson who is seven years old. So I feel like I've had a diaper bag for a long time at this point and I know what is what is necessary to bring what's not too necessary and pretty much just the basics i'm gonna show you exactly how i pack my diaper bag so that it works the best what i pack in it and obviously you can add but this is basically what i leave in my diaper bag all the time and then i just add to this depending on the weather or depending on what we're doing for the day if you are new here i would love for you to hit the subscribe button right below so that we can stay connected and you can stay tuned for future videos but let's get right into it if you do hear any little baby noises, I do have baby Leo right next to me in his car seat. He was sleeping and I did not want to wake him up, but I want to keep him close so I can watch him. Well, he woke up and he's right next to me in the docker top. But let's get into today's video. I'm going to start with the biggest pocket first. Just because that's where all the juicy stuff is and I know that's what everybody wants to know. So it looks like this. Let me see how I can carry this thing. It looks like this on the inside it kind of looks a little bit messy and like there's no no organization to it but there really is i promise so the first thing in the back is the changing pad i have one of these in the diaper bag it came with my diaper bag and i also have one in the car i have them everywhere honestly i love to pack these things i have a bottle okay so i'm going to i'm currently um formula feeding and his doctor also wanted him to have some cereal at this point so I have these three things in my diaper bag at all times this is the cereal that i use when i'm on the road i leave it in my diaper bag i don't want to leave it in the car just because i don't want it to get hot but i want to have it in my diaper bag ready to go in case of emergencies so that i don't have to think about anything i don't have to pack anything i just have to get my diaper bag and run just in case so i have his formula and i also have one of his bottles in the diaper bag at all times the only thing i have to bring is like a jug of water or a bottle of water depending on what's going on and now this is the inside of the diaper bag as you can see it's pretty organized on this pocket right here is where i had all my things for nursing so i'm going to take it out because i no longer need that but i did have one of these little wet bags with some nursing pads just in case because you know how that gets and my favorite nipple butter I like to have everything the small size for when it's in my diaper bag just so it doesn't take up too much space. I also have this which is definitely a must have. If you don't have one of these, you need one. I've mentioned it in a few of my videos. This is a baby Frida like little picker thing. It just helps me pick baby's nose, ears, nails, everything. Very easy, very simple. Easy to clean. And then I have a snack for mom. So that's in the first pocket. In the second pocket right here, I just have some diapers and I have a sample size um, wipey pouch. I also have my booty cream for the baby. This is the one I'm currently using. I had a really big scare with my first baby and this is the one that they recommended in the hospital. So from then on, this is really what I've been using. It's my go-to just in case. Next little pocket right over here. Let me see. Right here. Right here, I have... I have two little bibs. I have a bandana bib and I have a regular one. And then I have a burp cloth. I don't use these too much, but in case of emergency that I run out or that my receiving blanket got dirty or anything, I have that one. And this is where it gets a little bit interesting. This is this pocket right over here. I have to take everything else I can show you. This is basically my pocket in the bag. Lipstick, I always have an extra one in my diaper bag. I try to do the best that I can by leaving it in there. <laughs> He's stretching. Next thing, I always try to have an extra cube for my charger. Again, you never ever know what can happen. Like, literally, your car can break down. You can get stuck in the store. Like, you never know. So, I have one of those. I have one of these, which I have to take it out and charge it. This is a portable charger. Again, just in case. It doesn't weigh too much. It's honestly one of my must-haves. I have a little Lysol spray bottle which is I think a dollar 
that I paid for like at Walmart I think when I was packing my hospital bag I have a pad normally I have a couple more I have one of these just because I cannot have <laughs> a toothbrush following me everywhere in my diaper bag so I have one of these you can even take it apart and just have take one piece to the bathroom if you're at a restaurant or whatever the case is but I love to have these in the car I also have one of these this is mostly for the changing pad when I'm done using it I will wipe both sides down before I throw it back into my diaper bag just because COVID times and yeah then I have this which I got from one of the free diaper free goodie bags when I was pregnant if you haven't seen those in my first trimester you can go to a playlist that I will link right below and all of the first trimester weekly pregnancy update videos for the most part I had a different goodie bag that I was traveling everywhere to go get like a goodie bag a week at every store <laughs> but this is one of them I still haven't opened it but I have it there just in case you never know again and then a chapstick for me okay so now into the good stuff I always he always is in his car seat when we're out especially right now he's so little he's just a newborn so for the most part on his car seat he always has a receiving blanket because that's what i use to get his spit up that's what i use if it's not already dirty i just use it to kind of cover him up a little bit just in case there's a breeze or any of that so i do have an extra one in my diaper bag at all times just in case it falls on the floor just in case of anything i have an extra one they don't weigh they're super lightweight they come in super cute patterns. Since it's winter, I do have a little beanie in the car for him. Just in case. I live in very, very south Florida. So the weather is literally a toss-up. I can go outside in the morning. It can be 100 degrees outside. And then by nighttime, it can be 40 degrees. So, like, you never know. So I try to always have one of these in the car or in my diaper bag. I also have his car seat cover, which can also double for a nursing cover. I have a couple of these and I always try to switch them out. But if worse comes to worse and I don't have a blanket for him, which I don't put in my diaper bag unless I'm using a very thin blanket because it just gets too bulky. I normally just leave it on him or over the top of the canopy of his diaper of his stroller. But worst case scenario, this can be also used as a blanket or whatever you need it for. Okay, so this is one of my mom hacks. If you haven't seen my newborn must have videos, I'll link it below. But I literally have these everywhere i've learned from having other babies that this is something necessary if you change a dirty diaper like a stinky diaper and you don't want to throw it out or leave it around your car or whatever the case is you can throw it in here if baby has a blowout throw the clothes in here when you get home throw the clothes in the washer you can throw this in the washer it doesn't get dirty doesn't stain it doesn't the smell stays in there until you wash it and then it's done it's completely out already I love this thing highly recommend these to everybody <laughs> on the next side of my diaper bag that was on this side now on this side I have his little sound machine if you've seen any of my previous videos especially my newborn must-haves if you haven't seen it again I'll link it below I always carry extra socks if you saw my old <laughs> Disney like what I pack in my hospital in my diaper bag for Disney you know that I always pack extra socks. It's just like a pet peeve of mine. I have to have my kids have extra socks. Just in case, especially with a newborn, in case it falls off. One of them falls off, you have another pair. It gets dirty, you have another pair. You know that when you're changing a newborn's diaper, their feet are always in their, like, stuff. So, extra socks. And just because the weather was chilly this weekend, I have two outfits. I always have a sleeper with me because that's just my go-to, like, long sleeve outfit. Just in case it gets cold or breezy or whatever the case is. So I just have a regular little long sleeve onesie. And then I always try to bring one other outfit that's not a onesie. This one is long sleeve just because, again, it was kind of cold this weekend. So I have a whole little outfit set. But for the most part, I always try to keep one short sleeve outfit and one long sleeve outfit. Just in case, again, I'm in Florida. So it might be different for you if you're watching this and you don't live in Florida. And I do have another little zipper pocket right back here. I don't have anything in it currently. Normally, I just throw, if I'm just walking, if I'm just walking into the grocery store with a baby, I just throw my cards in there or I just throw my wallet on top of everything in the diaper bag so that it's super easy to get when I need it. I'm going to close that up just in case I have to leave anywhere. And on the side, my diaper bag has two little pockets on the side. One of them, if I have space for it, um, I put like my Yeti or my water bottle, whatever I'm drinking. And on the other side, 
I put my hand sanitizer stays there. This is refillable. I got this for my hospital bag when I gave birth. And I just keep refilling it. I have big bottles. I have hand sanitizer everywhere, especially for flu season. You really don't want to risk baby getting sick. That sucks. In here, this did not come with my diaper bag, but I have it for an extra passy. This passy is clean and it's ready to go just in case his falls from his stroller or anything. And last but not least, he's getting fidgety. I have in the front pocket. It's just any little essentials. I have some last minute gum and I have a, his next doctor's appointment right here so I never forget. And I have a coupon for Pampers diapers just in case I guess. It came in one of those goodie bags so I just keep it with me. You never know. I have actually chapstick and I have these batteries. These batteries I use I have a fan in my car for the baby for his car seat, so I never want to run out of batteries. I have a bunch of batteries, as you can see. I also have a refill for his um, noise machine thing. It takes four AAA batteries, so I have four AAA batteries in there, just in case. You do not want to stay stranded without that. Well, at least I don't. That's pretty much it. Depending on where I'm going or what I'm doing in the day, um, I will add to it as I see fit. This is basically just how I have it packed. My little like must-have essentials are in here. And in my car, I have like extra diapers. In my car, I have extra, di um, extra diapers, extra wipes. I have a change of clothes just in case I run out of my house without my diaper bag. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I was trying to make it short and sweet for you. That is basically what I have in my diaper bag for my newborn. He is currently nine weeks old and getting hungry. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see any more of these kind of videos. I can also show you what I pack when I'm out with my toddler or when I'm out with my both babies or with all four kids. It's different, honestly, every time. Lately when I go out, I've been going out with my husband and we kind of divide and conquer. I have a bag in my car that I have like a change of clothes for my girls, diapers, wipes, stuff like that. So I don't need to always have it in my diaper bag. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see a like a kind of like a mom hack video. I feel like over the years I've learned a ton of stuff. I got my stepson when he was about two years old. So I didn't have him in the baby phase, but I did have him for the toddler phase. Um, and then I have both of my other girls who are four and two. And I have him who is nine weeks old. So... I feel like I can share a lot of like little mom hacks that I've learned along throughout the years. Let me know if you want to see one of those videos. I'd be totally up for that. But he's about to start getting hungry. It's getting close to his feeding time. And his sister's about to wake up from her nap. So I have to go. But thank you again so much for watching today's video. Like I said, hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you here. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!